guys, May here, and today I am doing my q and I actually filmed this yesterday, and the raw video is like an hour and a half long, so, um, you guys left me <laughs> quite a bit of questions. I actually wasn't expecting to get that many questions, like, I thought that, like, my past q and I haven't really gotten too many, but also my last q and was from, like, two years ago, and I've definitely gotten subscribers since then, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to, like, one question, one or two in each, like, group, because everybody asked me multiple questions, so, but I'm definitely gonna do, like, try to do one from each person because I want to answer all your questions but obviously <laughs> I don't want to upload a video that long so yeah I have the most frequently like asked ones kind of towards the top how old are you I am 20 years old I just turned 20 on May 23rd that was the second question when is your birthday what year are you in college I am a junior in college um, uh, and what's your major? What kind of career are you working towards? I am an animal science major. Up until end of last semester, I was pre-vet, and then I decided I don't want to be pre-vet anymore, so now I am animal science nutrition. So I guess a career I'm working towards is uh, animal nutritionist. I haven't decided if I want to do wildlife or if I'm interested in doing companion animals like dogs and cats or what? How do you budget your money for K-pop albums? Every month I set aside a certain amount and I said this is what we're spending this month but obviously if Super Junior and Infinite do something then that just doesn't really apply because I like to get their stuff like right when it comes out. Basically besides that it's like a certain amount of the paycheck and then I just put the rest aside in savings and whatever so what is your least favorite k-pop song or k-pop song that you heard once and didn't like it so you haven't listened to it again miss a's debut song um of course I've heard it more than once because it was everywhere when it came out but I just don't like it I'm very weird with JYP's music so what is your favorite k-pop music video um my favorite k-pop music video is probably Fan by Epic High. The first song that got you into K-pop was um, G-Dragon's Heartbreaker. How do you feel about Gangnam Style when it became extremely popular in the States? I felt weird and um, ever since my veterinary science professor my high school year, not professor, my teacher, who did the Gangnam Style dance, I been weird about it so ultimate bias and why can you see him today you can yesterday i had the camera set up so you couldn't see him but dong of super junior is my ultimate bias because he is just all around amazingly talented and sweet and he's four and <laughs> and i just really admire him as both a person and an artist a very down-to-earth person i feel like i feel like he's just loves like all the super junior members are kind of like this they just don't really let the idleness get to them they're just kind of always true to themselves so favorite girl group is after school favorite boy group is super junior and infinite um favorite solo singer is we sung and so and gook i would say Ultimate female bias is Reina from After School, and I already said my ultimate male bias. Favorite packaging for albums and least favorite. Okay, hold on. Do negative first. My least favorite packaging. <laughs> Do I even need to talk about it? They're gonna come back really soon. They just filmed the music video the other day. Don't do this, Pledis. So my favorite kind of packaging, just in general, is box packaging. And I really like box packaging for a couple reasons. Oh, there goes the ad. Um, well, I like it when it has this like pull tab thing in it, but I like CD is always very safe in box packaging. I've never had box packaging where I've been like, oh, the CD is not safe at all. And I like um, separate photo books, just in general. I like holding just the photo book. Packaging like this, but only if you do it correctly. There are definitely box packagings that I've complained about before, but overall, I think when it comes to K-pop albums, this is my favorite kind. If you use the majority of the box for the thick photo book we can be friends but my favorite packaging so far this year has been b2b's complete the ones that i own obviously um this was just done so well so so well what's your favorite k-drama i think my favorite i've watched a lot of k-dramas recently i'm like I haven't finished a few of them. My favorite K-drama though is um, Bridal Mask. I couldn't think of the English name last night, but Bridal Mask um, is definitely 
it's up there. It's a little gory, so if you don't like gore, um, it's probably not for you, but it's got action, um, romance, it's got this whole like war going on and like there's just so much stuff that happens. How many K-pop albums do you own right now? I own, including ones that I have coming, 276 so I'm probably gonna break 300 before the end of the year and that is absolutely terrifying. What's your opinion on the Unhe couple? Who do you think the next person to marry in SJ is? Dongyeon and Yuk are going to marry each other. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but I do like the Unhe couple. Um, I just feel like no matter how much they say don't ship us, there's just, sorry, it's them. They just keep making me ship them. Um, the next person to marry in Super Junior, I feel like I can see Shiwon getting married soon. He just seems like a good husband and like I'm sure that there are definitely women around him so I can see that. He just seems like a, a good dude. Are you going to post an updated room tour? I filmed it this morning. The only reason I haven't filmed it until now was because all of my college stuff was like in my bedroom, like everywhere, and I was like, I can't film it. It's like my room is a mess, but today I filmed it. How do you decide your bias in a group? You don't choose the bias. You have no control. The bias chooses you. But then you end up with people like Wano of Monster X as your bias, and you just suffer every single day. Favorite Beast song? Oh, that's hard. Probably I would say... Probably, um, the last album I bought from them was, um, uh, Midnight Sun. Beautiful, Beautiful Night, is that the name of the song? But that one. And the other Beast album I own is the Fiction and Fact one, because fiction is, like... What is a popular group that many people enjoy but you have never been able to like? Are there any groups that you once were a huge fan of but now don't follow or like anymore? So, a popular group that many people enjoy but you've never been able to like, I would say... Miss A for this. I just, their music just does nothing for me. The members don't do anything for me. We're, in a, we're a huge fan of, but now don't follow or like anymore. SNSD as a group, it's not really because of the Jessica thing, but it's kind of because of the Jessica thing. Jessica uh, and Sue Young were my biases in SNSD at one point, and then I decided just Jessica was my bias. I was like, yeah, Sue Young's not really my bias, but, and Jessica left, but then I was like, well, you know, Sue Young doesn't really do anything for me anymore either and I've never really had another member that I was like oh I love you like I, I think Taehyun is super cute and I think that um Sohyun is really talented and cute but as just members have never done anything for me so I just have lost interest in them really and EXO everybody like my second and third biases left like Min Suk's still there and like sometimes I have issues with a couple of the members like, I, can, I won't get into it obviously but um so I just don't follow them as much as I used to which is why I didn't support their newest comeback that much was because I was like well I'm not really into them anymore I still like their music but as a group I'm not really into them anymore do you actually listen to your physical copies of CDs like in a CD player or do you keep them in the cases to keep them in good condition I keep them in the good in the cases I don't own a CD player, so I think that has something to do with why I just won't play them in a CD player. Most of the time I like to go through multiple groups, like I will just listen to like four or five different groups like within an hour, so I don't know. I just... Mm. How long have you been collecting albums? Since 2010, I think. Have you gotten into any new groups recently? Astro? Uptension? I can't wait for attention to debut. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, JJCC, I learned the member names, let's come back. Uh, who else? I'm in the process of learning Big Star because they're coming back soon. What's your favorite K-pop song at the moment? At the moment, the one I've been listening to a lot the past couple of days is um, Basic featuring Mama Moo, uh, Stand Up, I believe it's called, from their newest, the newest Show Me The Money episode. Yes, that song. I like the Minnow song. I downloaded that, the Minnow and Taeyong song, but um, not as much as I like the basic song. I just really like that song. Do you have a pet peeve about K-pop? When people mispronounce group names or like members, like it's okay if you don't follow the group, don't know them, but if you are like, if I were to say that Dong A is my ultimate bias, but I pronounce his name, how do you even mispronounce his name? Like I've heard some weird mispronunciations. Like I'm just like, how did you even get that? Some names are hard in K-pop, but I feel like if you watch their variety shows, it's not that hard to kind of pick up 
how you say their name. That's kind of a pet peeve of mine is when somebody's like, I really like this group, and then they mispronounce, like, the members' names, and I'm like, ooh, ooh. Where did you get the Dongwoo poster that was featured in some of your older videos? The one from this set is from Second Invasion Evolution. It was sold at the concert, and the entire set, there's seven individual posters and a group poster. Um, the group poster is actually in my bedroom, so during my room tour you will see the group poster, because uh, I was just really too lazy to move it. Same reason Young Soo's still here. I was just too lazy to move him. That's what that's from. These are from that summer too, same thing. They were sold at the concert, seven individual member ones. There's two group ones this time though. The two group ones are in my room with Wuyen, Sungyo, and um, Sungyu, so those three are in my room. But I used to have those three plus Hoya of the set in my room, but Hoya didn't really- these are bigger, obviously, so Hoya didn't fit there, so that's why he's in here now. What do you think of Icon? Do you have a favorite member? I like Icon. I'm really excited for Icon. I've been following them. Um, back when they were doing Win, I didn't watch Win as it aired, but I watched- I watched Mix and Match, like, right after it ended. I just- mm, I think it was during the semester, and, uh, like, I followed No Mercy really well, but, like, I, for whatever reason, could not- do mix and match and win, but bias is Donghyuk, but back when they were doing win, I chose, I was thought Team B was really cool. I was like, oh, I like Team B, so they've like been my favorites kind of from the beginning, um, but I really like Winner as well. Do you follow any YouTubers who aren't related to K-pop? I do follow a lot of YouTubers who aren't related to K-pop. Um, these days I'm into daily vloggers, but I think that's because I'm at home for the summer, and I don't think I'm going to follow them that closely once I get back to school, because I just don't have time to watch all the vlogs every single day. How do you decide what posters to put up? In this room, it's basically Super Junior and Infinite is kind of like my role. Like, no matter what group I'm talking about, I like to be like, here's Hoya in the background, here's Dongyeon and Anyuk over here, here's Anyuk over there, and Kyuyeon over here, like, constant reminders that those are my ultimates, no matter what group I'm talking about. Countries we like to visit someday, I would really like to go to Greece, I'd really like to go back to Italy, because I've been there, but it was on a cruise, and I was there for, like, literally three hours, and I was like, I just want to be here longer. Um, I'd love to go back to Spain, I was there for a week and I really liked it. I would go definitely go to France again. I've been there twice. I've traveled a lot, I know. <laughs> um, my family likes to do big vacations together abroad, like my entire family, so I've just been places. Obviously Korea, Japan. I've never been to India. I'm interested in it. I'd like to go to Singapore too. I feel like Singapore is a very good mixing pot of all of the Asian countries around there, so like I'd like to visit there. Favorite candy? Fruity or chocolate? I love fruity candy. Worst thing to step on blind? Something wet or something sticky? I wear socks a lot. My feet get really cold, so I just wear socks a lot. So definitely something wet. Oh, and then seeps, in, seeps into your, like, where your foot is. And, no. If K-pop idols were perfume, what would your top three biased personalities smell like, and would you wear them? Um, we would be Grease. Definitely. He would just smell like a french fry fryer. Um, Sungyo would smell like coffee. I feel like that's just the thing he smells like anyways, and he, it's pers his personality, caffeine. Um, Dongye would smell like... What do you smell like? He would be like a very happy, like, spring kind of scent. Like, does that make sense? Like, he just would, like, smell like flowers and sunshine and everything good. I would wear- I smell like coffee anyways. <laughs> I would wear the Dongye one. I don't know if I'd wear a Wuyen and Sungyo. Which would you rather? Can't taste food for a month or can't access the internet for a week? I've gone a week without internet. I would definitely do that. I cannot when I'm sick and I can't taste food. It like drives me insane. Do you remember the very first moment you started like K-pop? I never disliked it. I was intrigued when I first found it and just like started liking it like it just kind of was a thing i think it helped that i went to school the day after i found k-pop and two of my friends are korean and they listened to k-pop and they were like oh my god like this is so cool and then we just like talked about it and i was like this is really cool like i like it how much korean do you know did you ever feel like you need to be fluent or that you wanted to be fluent i want to be fluent i've never felt that i needed to be fluent i felt that it's more convenient to be fluent i can read it i understand um scripted things really well so like dramas and like variety shows but like when you watch reality shows where um like there's just 
you know, I'm watching a pension show and there's most of the time just ten boys yelling at each other and like, I, that's hard for me, but I've never felt that it's a requirement. As a huge starlight, please share your initial thoughts about them as a group and members. Um, Vix. Vix when it's Vix's anniversary in Korea, it is my birthday in the United States. So when they first debuted, I had a I had a a going away slash birthday party. Um, so I missed their debut. I was busy that day. We were moving like literally three weeks later, and um, so I was very busy. So I'd never really like heard about them until they came back with Rock Your Body. Um, but I did go back and watch their first song. I thought their music was pretty generic. It just didn't... I was also going through a I hate all rookies phase, so that did a thing. I thought N was really handsome though, and Hongbin's hair... I wanted to hop in the music video and cut it because it just looks really scary and I don't like it. If you had to pick a least favorite member of Infinite and Super Junior, who are they and why? I think my least favorite member of Super Junior would be Kibum, just because I don't know him as well as I know the other members, so by default Sorry, Kibum. I still follow you on Instagram and Twitter even though you don't use either. It's infinite. Mm. See, like, I've been asked the question for Super Junior before, so like I know my answer, like I've had my answer, but I don't know Infinite. Hoya upsets me the most. He makes me question everything and he tries to pretend he's my bias sometimes with Lian and Sungyul and I'm like, can you please not? How did Daywon become your Madtown bias instead of J-Ho? I chose a bias too fast in Madtown essentially, is what happened. I watched a music video for YOLO. I liked that and was like, oh, I think I think that one's my bias. Who's my bias? So I chose him as my bias, and then I went and watched the variety shows. I can't choose a bias in a music video before I go watch the variety shows. This happens to me so much now, and it just drives me crazy when it happens because I tell everybody who my bias is, and then I'm like, no, they're not my bias. Like, I'm going through a bias change in G-Friend right now, and it's just painful, but day one is my bias, personality-wise, talent-wise, still love Ho, still love all of them, so why aren't they coming back? I have no idea. I'm upset. Are you excited for Astro's debut? Do you have high expectations for them? I wouldn't say I have high expectations, just because I have no expectations at all, because their company is not a company I follow very closely and Hello Venus is basically like they were half Pledis so like I knew what to expect from them because Pledis but like I have no I'm excited for them but I'm like don't have high expectations just because I don't really know that much about them. Why is Sung Chul your 17 bias? Back when the happy Pledis videos were a thing I was trying to choose male trainee biases um, from Pledis because Pledis didn't have any boy groups before New East, like this is before New East, it was like when they were planning New East, um, and then, oh, what were they gonna, Temp East, it's when they were planning Temp East as well, which is what 17 was before it was 17, like I know I'm just like, too much Pledis knowledge in this head, but Sung Cho was there, he was actually with Beko in one scene in one of the happy Pledis, my favorite one, the one that has the boys in it too and like the younger girl trainees. So I saw him there with Beko, who's my new East biased, and I was like, oh, they're so cute, like I like those guys. Um, and then Beko debuted in New East, Sung Chol featured in Orange Caramel's first full-length album on Reina Solo, in Reina Solo, and I really liked it. It was like one of my favorite songs on the album, so like I loved all the songs, but it was one of my favorite songs on the album, and I was like, when he finally gets to debut, like, he's gonna be my favorite. He's gonna be my favorite. He's gonna be my bias. I've already chosen it right now. He's my bias. When Seventeen debuted, I like, it's been three years, so like obviously I thought Seventeen was debuting a long time ago, but they just debuted this year. I was I started by watching the variety show. They had no music videos out, so watched their um, variety show, the one that has six episodes, like right before their debut. And within like the first episode, I chose Sung Chul as my bias, and then I like finished maybe three episodes of it and was like, oh, what about that other guy? Like, which one is the one that was in? You know, and I was learning, I learned 17's real names and their stage names at the same time because obviously some fans have been following them for like years. I looked it up and it's the same person, so I was like, 
That's cool. Do one more question, I guess. Would you rather go to Korea and meet face to face with your bias or go to a concert and fan meet that was in your area? Probably go to one that's in my area because if there's a meet and greet, don't I still get to be face to face with my bias? If all the K-pop groups had to disband, but you could only save one, which K-pop group would you save? Why would you ask me a question like this? I think I'm gonna end this now. I think I've answered at least two questions from the majority of you. Thank you so much for all of your questions. I'm really sorry I couldn't answer all of them, but like I said, this video was so long when I filmed it yesterday. So yeah, um, and now my camera battery is about to die, but thank you so much for the questions. I don't know the next time I'm gonna do a Q&A video if you have any ideas of like, should I do it every six months? Or should I do it like every two months? Or like once a year? Or like what do you think? Like every time I have this a huge influx of subscribers, like part of the reason I did this was because I had a huge influx of subscribers recently. Um, so thank you all for subscribing to me to this. Let me know about that down in the comment section down below. And um, if I didn't answer any of your questions thoroughly enough, you can definitely like ask me to elaborate. I tried to make this a little quick. I will see you guys very, very soon. Thanks for the old questions. I really enjoyed answering all of them. And yeah, you guys asked me some really cool questions. Thank you so much. All right, I'll see you guys very, very soon.